Um, the first thing you're going to need is a steel bench block. Um, and we have a rubber 4x4 four four block that goes underneath it to keep it from moving around and to buffer the sound. Um, and you have the hole punch. These are parallel hole punchers that will punch a hole um, the perfect size for the rivet. And then we have flush cutters. And you use flush cutters because it will leave a nice flat cut in your rivet so that when you hammer it down, it will, it will splay out perfectly and not in a big blob. I use a ball peen hammer. That's my preference. This is a riveting ball peen hammer. And then we have the Swiss hammer that other people like. Um, you use a sharpie marker to make a hole, uh, to make a dot for the center of your project. The first thing I'm going to do is lay my brass blank on the steel block and try to find the center and make a little dot. Okay, then you take your hole punch, your par parallel hole punch, and you punch on the very top of the hole that you just made with the sharpie marker. Now you're going to take and assemble your design. The first thing I'm going to do is take the flower washer and put it on. Then the brass stamping. Then the white stamping. Then the yellow. And then I'm going to, and then I'm going to place it in the center hole that I just punched. And flip it upside down and just kind of slide it on top of that steel bench across. And you're going to take your flush cutters and cut about a cut it down to about a sixteenth of an inch. And I take my ball peen hammer on the flat side. Okay, so let me just do this. So after you're done with your riveting, you can flip this design over and see exactly what you've finished. And here's your finished product.